welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have my monthly favorites from September 2016. The first favorite you guys actually already noticed and were commenting on on my last video because I was wearing it in the thumbnail of the video and it was this pair of glasses and these are actually by the brand Firmu. It's an online optical store and I love them. I think they look so cute. The only thing is I'm not wearing them in the video right now because as you can tell I get these funky circles. I think this could get a little annoying over time. Yeah but usually I don't have a huge ring light in front of my face. Firmu is an online an optical store which means you basically just pick any frame you like and then you just enter your prescription and they send you the glasses and that's how it works it's super easy super quick their customer service is awesome I actually ordered another pair first and I wasn't happy with it like I didn't like the style of it I think it was a little too big and it just didn't work for me so they were so kind just to send me another pair and this time I went with one without prescription as you know I wear contact lenses and I thought these would be awesome if I'm riding my scooter because when it rains um, you need some kind of protection in front of your eyes and sunglasses aren't always the best idea especially at night and that is why I decided to just have like clear glasses like this so if you guys are interested in these like this model or um, any other type of model I highly recommend you to use this code power panda because with this one you are getting a free pair of glasses from their promo site and there are actually tons of frames to choose from you will only need to pay for the shipping or any additional things you want on there apart from that you can have a free pair of glasses I'm not sure if they still sell this color of the frames I think they have it in three different colors but like I said there are so many different frames to choose from if you compare these to high-end frames you can tell that the quality is not the same they just feel a little softer and everything but I feel like um, Firmo is perfect if you just want to try a different style of uh, glasses or if you don't even have a prescription but just want to get like funny nerdy looking glasses or if you just want to try a different style since they're so affordable you can just order five frames for the price of one expensive one Oh my god my next favorite is my homemade vegan chili recipe I think it turned out so delicious that's why I actually put the recipe on my blog where you can download it for free which is a new thing I've been doing like the new recipes I'm making I'm always making it as a PDF so you can easily download it onto your device or just print it out this chili recipe is so easy and it goes so quick and it's so affordable because most of the ingredients come from a can so you basically just throw everything together and you have yourself a very nice very filling very inexpensive meal so this is great if you're a student this week I also published a review of a documentary called Life According to Ohad on my blog and this documentary is by the Israeli filmmaker Eri Daniel Eri. I've just been taken away by this documentary. I think it's so great. It's about the vegan activist Ohad who um, is very passionate about what he does. So he saves um, chickens from dumpsters and he frees animals from farms and he does like a lot of protests and like a lot of vegan activism but because his family didn't support his new lifestyle he just felt like he couldn't live with them anymore so for several years he was separated from his family but eventually he felt very isolated and lonely and he missed them and this is basically what the documentary revolves around it's about his struggle and his attempt to reconnect with his family בסדר, שהם אומרים להם, קוראים לבעלי חמל לכל כך הרבה סבר, בשביל שאני אהיה להם חטיפת בשר, או מכוס חלב, או מחביתה בבוקר. יש פה רצח נקודה, האם זה בסדר? Thank you. 
מסתבר לנו שזה אכפת כל כך, זה פשוט עונש. And this is a really heartbreaking and sad but also optimistic story. I really like the topic they are highlighting with this documentary because um, as we know there are a bunch of vegan documentaries we can watch but none of them really like talk about what it's like as a vegan when you come home to your family and your friends and they aren't really supportive or they're actually against it. I think this is a very important part of veganism that people usually don't talk about as much. I feel like this documentary not only highlights it but also kind of offers support for people who are in the same shoes as Ohad is and I just feel like the the storytelling is so gripping it's really authentic and raw and you just feel like you were there with Ohad I can highly recommend you to watch it even if you're not a vegetarian or vegan but you still are interested in the topic and if you want to support it I'm gonna put the link to the documentary in the info box of this video it only costs $4.99 to rent the movie and if you like it don't forget to share it on your social medias on Twitter Facebook anything so more people hear about it because I think this is definitely something worth spreading another highlight for me from the month of September was a health article from Julia Naftaline and it was about perfectionism I see myself as a perfectionist and sometimes I feel a little crazy for that and I know perfectionism is one of these problems where people don't really acknowledge that it's a problem, like they don't see how this can be a struggle. But if you are a perfectionist yourself, you know that sometimes this can be really hard and kind of hold you back from things because you're constantly like criticizing yourself, you're never happy with what you're doing and you always feel like you need to do more and you're never happy with what you've done. So I read her article and she has like these different signs where you can tell that your perfectionism is kind of going overboard and after reading through that article I realized that my perfection is still kind of um, on the safe side of the perfectionist spectrum I still feel like it's healthy and not as bad as I thought it was if you are a perfectionist yourself I highly recommend you to either read this article or my blog post about it I just think it's very important to deal with the issues you have or um, to always learn more about yourself and my last favorite for the month of September was the aroma diffuser I got from Matthias, which is by the brand Muji, which is a Japanese brand. This aroma diffuser works with ultrasonic waves, which kind of vibrate the water and produce a um, really fine, cool and dry mist that smells like the oils you put in there. And I just think this is the coolest thing ever. I actually use it every single day. You can put different types of oils in there. I got four different blends. Because the aroma diffuser does not heat the oil, like you get the actual scent of the oil. I'm just really surprised by the effect this has on me. Like it's really calming and relaxing. And because there's a timer on it, you can actually turn it on at night and it will turn off automatically. There are different time settings. So these were all of my favorites from the month of September. I hope there was something interesting there for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I love it when you guys click on my videos and then I'll just see you next week. Bye!